Lane in Clifton. Hi. This is a letter that I wrote. I started it on 723, and it's taken me quite a while, but I wanted to end it with a good ending. So here I am today to end it, and this is for all the Gogi sisters. To my Gogi sisters, surprise, surprise, ladies, God is good. I want all of you women to know that I am still sober today. Life is wonderful for me, thanks to getting out by going in. I have taken Gogi with me by choice, because I am totally willing to change my life and to, and to stay sober. I'm totally, no, I'm totally willing to change my life around and stay sober. It wasn't really as tough as I stressed it would be, because if you use the tools, ladies, and apply them to your everyday life, everything will fall in place. Trust in the Lord and pray, then breathe and use that five-second light switch. Then be the boss of your brain, and you'll be okay. Be honest about everything, anything and everything, ladies, no matter what. Because sometimes our honesty can lead us in slippery areas. I'm a prime, prime example because I was honest about a situation that occurred to me in my life, and it got me put out on the curb at Oasis. But I wasn't going to let that ruin my life. After all, it is what it is, honey. <laughs> so I called my grandparents and explained to them the situation and while they were a little unsure on how to handle this matter and they hung up on me. That's when boss of your brain kicked in. I began to direct my thoughts into positive ones and the only number I could think of, well, that's my old sugar daddy. Wow, imagine that, ladies. I called him and he came from Canoga Park to Silmar and picked me up once again on the curb. Then reality check came in to the surface. He said, where am I taking you? I, I replied, I had no other place to go but to go to, at 10.30 at night, but to go to a hotel for the night. As my t stomach is turning and I am back in my stopping grounds, I checked myself and told myself, it is what you make it. This too shall pass. I was sitting, I was sitting by myself at Motel 6 on Sherman Way in DeSoto in a one bedroom all alone. It took me two and a half hours to fall asleep. I woke up at 5.30 a.m. I colored my hair, took a shower, and drank gel coffee. And called my, my friend Andy to tell him, please call my grandma and tell her where I was. She called me and said, you are ruining my marriage if I, ha if I bring you to my home. I was starting to feel nauseous, but I have worked way too hard to let myself fall. So I said, please, please, grandma, pick me up and bring me to an AA meeting and we'll go from there. I then assured myself, I then assured my grandma that, that someone from the meeting would reach out and hear my willingness to help to remain sober, and she said, okay, I'll, I'll call you back. She called back and said, I'll be there soon, so stay strong. When she arrived, I felt so safe and happy. From Hotel 6, I went straight to the Simi Valley Pawn Shop to pick up my laptop, and that was a blessing from God because I was, I was still doing what, what he asked of me. I then went directly across the street over to the 12 o'clock noon Unity Hall in CB Valley, and when I walked into the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous, a huge, I felt a huge lift off my shoulders. Everyone was so happy to see that I was alive and back. I got a commitment, I, called, I got a phone list of women only, and I got myself a wonderful sponsor who actually was my old sponsor back in the day. She was as happy to see me as I was to see her. I got to tell you, my life today, just for today, is so much better and easier That's right. than it was five months ago when I chose to be homeless, I chose to use drugs, and I chose to use alcohol, lie, cheat, and steal. Belly breathe. Belly breathe. <laughs> um, today is all we have. Yesterday is history, and tomorrow is a mystery. So stay in today, Gogi sisters, and you'll be amazed of the beautiful, positive transformation that God has stored for you. I hope that you enjoy listening to my experience, strength, and hope letter from me to you. Love always, Julie Mead Clifton. P.S. And remember to take Gogi with you wherever you go because it changed my life completely. God bless. And if this is a prayer from me to you just for today. Dear God, just for today, Lord, please help me and guide me through any questionable situation. Give me the wisdom and knowledge to live my life to its best so I can make the world a better place by doing your will and not mine. Thank you. Bravo, Joe. Bravo.